In this video, I'm going to teach you the concept of the zero error of a vernier calipers. Over here, the jaws of the vernier calipers are closed. We would expect that the zero mark on the vernier coincides with the zero mark on the main scale, while the tenth division mark on the vernier coincides with the 0.9 centimeter mark on the main scale. When you see that after closing the jaws, it means that that vernier calipers does not have a zero error. So if it does not have a zero error, it means that any measurement taken using that vernier calipers will be accurate. In other words, the scale reading over here, which is actually 0.8 centimeters 0 0.80 centimeters that scale reading is exactly equal to the diameter that is being measured here that is what it means it means that the measured value the scale reading is accurate what do we mean by accuracy of a measurement this is what we mean by accuracy of a measurement. A measurement is said to be accurate if the scale reading is very close to the measurement which is being undertaken is actually equal to the actual measurement which is being determined. Because over here we are measuring this diameter this diameter has got a certain actual value. So if the scale reading is equal to the actual value or very close to the actual value, then that measurement is said to be accurate. One of the factors which affects accuracy of a measured value is the presence of the zero error in a measuring instrument. We have just said that when we close the jaws of these vernier calipers, then this is what we expect to see. But this may not be always the case. Let us suppose that these divisions do not coincide and that this is what we see. Let us suppose that this is what we see. You can see that after closing the jaws of the vernier calipers, the zero mark on the vernier does not coincide with the zero mark on the main scale. And similarly, the tenth division on the vernier scale does not coincide with the 0 0.9 centimeter mark on the main scale. When that is the case, then this vernier calipers or this vernier scale has a zero error. That means that whatever scale reading we are going to get, is not equal to the actual measurement that is being undertaken or the actual value that, that is being measured, the actual length that is being measured. It means that if the vernier calipers has a zero error, it means that the scale reading is not equal to the actual length which is being measured. It is either greater than or less than the actual value which is being measured because the vernier calipers has a zero error. So let's go back to that uh, slide where the zero mark on the vernier is ahead of the zero mark on the main scale. This one here, you can see that after closing the jaws, the zero mark on the vernier scale is ahead of the zero mark on the main scale this error is said to be a positive error. This is a positive error. This is how you identify a positive zero error on the vernier calipers. If after closing the jaws of the vernier calipers, you see that the zero mark on the vernier scale is ahead of the zero mark on the main scale, then that error is a positive zero error. What does that mean? It means that 
the scale reading that we are going to get after we put an object between the two jaws is greater than or is larger than the actual diameter which we are measuring or the actual length which we would be measuring. That is what it means. Let me repeat that because this one is very important. If the zero error of the vernier calipers is positive, it means that if we use that vernier calipers to measure the diameter of an object, if we use that vernier calipers with a zero error to measure the diameter of this object, for example, it means that the scale reading which we are going to get, in this case, which is 0 0.80 centimeters, is greater than the actual diameter which is being measured. That is what a positive zero error means. Let's put a few concepts together. We have a vernier calipers with a positive zero error. And we use that vernier calipers to measure the diameter of this cylinder. Then we look at the scale reading, which in this case is 0 0.80 centimeters. Since we are measuring the diameter of this cylindrical rod, and we have got a scale reading of 0 0.80 centimeters, since the the vernier calipers we are using has a positive zero error. It means that our scale reading, which is 0 0.80 centimeters, is not equal to the diameter of this cylinder. The diameter of this cylinder is less than 0 0.80 centimeters. In general, this is what it means. If you're given a vernier calipers with a positive zero error and you use that vernier calipers to measure a given length, then you get the scale reading. This is what it means. The scale reading is not equal to the actual length that you are measuring. The scale reading is greater than the actual length which you are measuring. The scale reading is greater than the actual length which you are measuring by a value equal to the zero error. So it is important to know how to get the size of the zero error on the measuring instrument. But first of all, I need you to understand this, that if you are using a vernier calipers with a positive zero error to measure a given length, the scale reading which you are going to get is not equal to the length which you are measuring. It is greater than the length which you are measuring. The difference between the length, the actual length that you are measuring and the scale reading is actually equal to the value of the zero error which you had determined. Let's look at a situation where the vernier calipers has a negative zero error. If we close the jaws of the vernier calipers and this is what we see, what do we look for? We look for the coincidence of this mark with this mark and this mark with this mark. If they coincide, the vernier calipers has no zero error and whatever scale reading we are going to get when we use it to measure any length is equal to the actual length that we are measuring. That is what it means. So in this case, after closing the jaws, we see that this mark does not coincide with this mark. Then it means there is a zero error. Is this error positive or negative? This is what we look for. If this division, if the zero mark on the vernier scale is to the right of the zero mark on the main scale, that error is positive. 
but if it appears the way it appears here that the zero mark on the vernier scale is to the left of the zero mark on the main scale that error is a negative zero error what does it mean when we are using a vernier calipers with a negative zero error this is what it means if we use a vernier calipers with a negative zero error to determine any length in this case we are determining the diameter of this road here if we use that vernier calipers with a negative zero error to determine the size of any length then the scale reading which we are going to get the scale reading will be less than the actual length which is being measured understand that it's important so i'm going to repeat it if we are using a vernier calipers with a negative zero error to measure a given length and we read the scale it means that the scale reading is less than the length which we are measuring by how much is it less than the length which we are measuring it is less than the length which we are measuring by a value which is equal to the zero error which we had determined so it is important to first of all determine whether the error is positive or negative and then after we are certain that the error is either positive or negative we go ahead and determine its actual value is it positive 0.01 centimeters positive 0.02 positive 0.03 or is it negative 0.01 or negative 0.02 negative 0.03 and so forth what is the magnitude of that zero error so let's see how we determine whether an error is positive or negative and then how much value does it have so over here i have the main scale and the vernier scale we have close to the jaws of the vernier calipers and this is what we see we have already agreed that the moment we see that the zero mark on the main scale coincides with the zero mark on the vernier scale then that vernier calipers does not have a zero error and any scale reading taken when we are using it to measure a given length is equal to the actual length which is being measured so there there is no problem but suppose this zero does not coincide with this zero and that this is what we see first of all i'm going to deal with a positive zero error so i'm going to slide the vernier scale to the right in such a way that it is this mark here which is coinciding at this point i want to remind you of the concept of the least count we have already seen that in the last video by least count we mean the smallest step at which we count the values on the scale or the readings on the scale least means smallest count means by what step how many steps do we move how do we move on that particular scale the least count of the vernier scale was 0.01 cm and it was obtained by getting the difference between the length of one division on the main scale and the length of one division on the vernier scale the difference between the two lengths gives us the value of the least count which in this case will be this length here this length from here to here that will be the least count in this case it was 0.1 centimeters subtract 0.09 centimeters and we get 0.01 centimeters that was the value of the least count so i'm going to slide this vernier scale to the right 
through a distance equal to one least count. When I do that, then I expect that it is this division which is going to coincide. And let's do exactly that. So here I am sliding it. You can see it is moving until the two divisions now coincide. These two, this division here, coincides with the div this division here. It means that the vernier scale has moved to the right through a distance equal to one least count, which is 0 0.01. So the, po the zero error here is positive 0 0.01 centimeters. If, for example, it was the second division which was coinciding like that, the second division which is coinciding, then the zero error will be positive 0 0.01. 0, 0.02. How do I know it is positive? It is because the zero mark on the vernier is to the right hand side of the zero mark on the main scale. Very important. So you have to do two things. First, check the position of the zero mark on the vernier with respect to the zero mark on the main scale. The moment you see that the zero mark on the vernier is to the right of the zero mark on the main scale, then that zero error is positive. Then you go to the second stage. You want to determine, all right, it's positive, but how much is it? You look for the coinciding division. If it is the second division, then you multiply 2 by the value of the least count, which is 0 0.01, and you get 2 times 0 0.01, you get positive 0 0.02 centimeters. If it is the third division which is coinciding, you can see I slide it to the right like that. And you will be able to see now the error here is positive 0 0.03 centimeters. So it is very easy to determine a positive zero error because you just need to check the position of the zero mark on the main scale with the respect you just need to check the position of the zero mark on the vernier scale with respect to the position of the zero mark on the main scale. If it is to the right, that error is positive, and it is positive, you check the, for the coinciding division. Now, zero errors will hardly go, this mark will hardly go beyond this. But in an exam, if that case is given, for example, if we slide at this vernier scale all the way until it is beyond this mark, you now have to be careful. You know that the zero mark, the zero error is positive, which in this case I'm saying it is highly exaggerated. It is highly exaggerated. But for the sake of answering questions in the exam, if you see something like this, you've got to be careful to check here. You've got to know that this mark has gone beyond 0 0.1 centimeters. So the zero error here will be, let me move it to an exact position here so that it is this one which is coinciding. The zero error here will be 0 0.1 2 centimeters. The zero error will be positive 0 0.12. But like I said, zero errors, practically they will hardly go beyond 0 0.1 centimeters. We expect them to be less than that. We expect them to be less than 0 0.1 centimeters. But for the sake of the examination, I've explained what you need to do. So before we move away from this slide here, or from this situation here where I'm looking at the positive zero error, a positive zero error will be identified by the fact that the zero mark on the vernier is to the right hand side of the zero mark on the main scale. And then its magnitude will be given by the number of the coinciding division. And of course, I've explained, if this goes beyond this point, you know what to do. Now, let's look at a negative zero error. 
Now let's go back to a negative zero error. Again, I've got to move uh, this vernier scale back to a point where there is no zero error. Remember, if this is what you see after you close the jaws of the vernier calipers, that the zero mark on the main scale coincides with the zero mark on the vernier, then that vernier calipers does not have any zero error. But if they don't coincide, then it means it has a zero error. If it is to the right, then the error is positive. It follows that if it is to the left, then the error is negative. Now, I want you to look at this scale quite carefully. If I go back to how we determined a zero error of positive 0 0.01, I just moved the vernier scale to the right through a short distance and you find that these are the two divisions which are going to coincide. But if I want to get a zero error which is negative, I've got to move this to the left. If I move it to the left, the most likely division to coincide with a division here is not this one here. Because if I move it to the left, notice that this distance increases. So what, what is it that I need to do? I need to look now at these points here. This point here. If I move the vernier scale to the left, it is this division which is most likely to coincide with this division. And let's do exactly that. So I move it to the left and I see that we have moved the vernier scale to the left through a distance equal to one least count. But when you look at the coinciding division, it is the ninth division. You can see that you can see that this distance here is equal to one least count. The coinciding division is the ninth division. At this point, I need to maybe put a warning here that students are usually tricked by this. Just because reading the positive error, you just need to read the coinciding division. When they read this, they want to quote the negative error as negative 0.09 centimeters which does not make sense because even when you look at this value here, it is nowhere close to this, nowhere close to this. So it is illogical to say that the negative error is negative 0.09. So this is the method that you're going to use. You just need to reverse the numbering of these divisions here. So instead of saying this is the ninth one, you're going to say this is zero, then this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to repeat that because it is important. When you are determining the value of the negative zero error, you just need to reverse the numbering of the divisions on the vernier scale. Instead of this one being 10, it will now be 0. And then they increase as you go to the left. 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to the 10th division. That way, it is easier to see that it is the first division which coincides from the left. When it is the first division, then the 0 error becomes negative 0 0.01 centimeters. Again, let us move it such that it is the eighth division which is now coinciding. When it is the eighth division which is coinciding, then the zero error has got two least counts, 0, 1, 2. So its value will be negative 0 0.02 centimeters. And it is just as simple as that when it comes to determining the magnitude of the zero error. 
So what have we done in this lecture? This is what we have done. We've been able to see how the scale looks like if the vernier calipers does not have any zero error. And we've been able to see that if it does not have a zero error, the zero mark on the vernier coincides with the zero mark on the main scale. But if that is not the case, for example, if this is the case, then this one is, first of all, it has a zero error because these two marks do not coincide. And the sign of that zero error is positive because the zero mark on the vani is to the right hand side of the zero mark on the main scale. And it has a value equal to, in this case, it is positive 0 0.01. If this is the case, in such a way that the zero mark on the vernier is to the left of the zero mark on the main scale, the zero error is negative, and in this case, it is negative 0 0.01. And I've already explained that although it is the ninth division which is coinciding, we number the divisions on the vernier starting from the left, 0, 1, 2, all the way up to the 10th division there. So this is what I would recommend. Go through this video again and in the next video we are going to see how we deal with the calculations which involve the zero error of the vernier calipers.